good morning to everyone we are leaving the house again Jazz and I had a walk yesterday my dad stayed at the house and did some washing had a chilled out day so no bike footage from yesterday but what I will do is as we go down here I'll just show you where we went yesterday because I did manage to get the drone up and we did manage to have a little bit of a walk so Yeah, this was a this was a challenging walk back up this hill yesterday. So Jazz and I did about uh, how far was it yesterday, Jazz? Nine mile yesterday. Yeah, I think it was about nine mile yesterday we did. So if you want to go in there, you can have a wander around, and. Uh, there's a little tea room and gift shop just there. The food's alright. It's about a mile from the house, but they did a nice scone and a nice soup. So I'm not sure what all of these roads are called, but if you leave in banks, then we're basically hen heading for uh, Castle Caron first. Yeah, it's a brilliant area to come away with the bikes, isn't it? Oh, it is. Although I think it would have been a bit disappointing if the weather wasn't this glorious at basically the middle of March. <laughs> buy the woods. What was that? You can buy the woods. Oh, I thought you said that's Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. I know there's a golf course around here, but it's a bit random. A bit high profile yeah. and a bit random that I would know who he was if I saw yeah. him. <laughs> oh, well, I hold you to Brampton, look who we bumped into. <laughs> so the thing we were thinking, folks, if any of you watching have got any ideas, that for when we're away, if we have to go shopping in the evening rather than having to get all our bike kit on to go down we were thinking that uh, it'd be handy to have a pair of just riding jeans so I've been looking at like road skin and Jazz has been looking at I quite like the idea of the motor girl ones they seem to get quite good reviews yeah and hopefully so if any of you have got any ideas as to the best type of those not to ride during the day but just like if we're nipping out to get a takeaway in the evening or meeting to nip out into the local village to have a, a shop rather than having to roll your kit on I know that RST make a good set as well and we should make some so if anyone's got any ideas as to the best ones or places where you can get them which do good deals please let us know because I mean this is the direction we did head in the other day isn't it but you see, I've looked on Google Maps and I've zoomed out, you know, on a satellite view. And yeah. it's just basically, it's green pretty much everywhere around us. Yeah. Our tour guide today is Garmin. <laughs> yeah. With associate producer, Google Maps. Yeah. Well, on the way back, we are going to have to go over the top, back past Alston, the way we went the other day, because that's the nicest way back for the way we're going so plus it's plus you can get a coffee about three yeah o'clock. i have to admit that uh that nook is got to be one of the best uh lattes i've had anywhere i well, you see i've I'm been already... quite pleasantly surprised by that co-op zone patent one. Oh yeah we bought the yeah, cheapest one that there was the other night and it's actually really good it really is, it's just instant but it's uh, it's nice because we didn't know how much we were going to be drinking and how much we were going to leave at the end of the week so Turns out pretty much the entire jar that we've drunk so far Yeah <laughs> The thing is like I I really enjoy the trips where you Left me good I really enjoy the trips where like you 
you're strapping your bags on and you're moving on and you're covering mileage every day but I also I've really enjoyed this slightly more chilled week where you go out and you maybe do 100 150 mile in a day just enjoy it and take your time and you don't have to pack it in a morning yeah yeah although I can't wait to get back on another trip where you do have to yeah, you just don't, don't unpack properly every time to you if you're doing that. Uh, it says turn right, I think Garmin's having one of its wonderful bare right moments. In the, into the middle of a field. Nice. Good out. Oh, thank you Mr. Trevor. she's moving there for the track and all those I'm not that fat <laughs> nice to have me slightly thinner more summery gloves on as well yeah testing out these fancy rocket ones see what they're like in all different weathers still good to all the blokes out there, marry a woman who wants bike kit for Christmas. I don't know, doesn't that kind of get expensive? <laughs> a, a hell of a lot less expensive than all my mates whose uh, wives wanted designer handbags. Really? I wouldn't even know how much a designer handbag was. One of the guys in work, I think, his wife's handbag was 1100 quid. Oh god, right, okay. Yeah, don't marry one of those types. <laughs> <laughs> nice little village. Yeah, it's lovely. You're no good for me, would it? Not really. Why is that? Because of all the hills? Yep. <laughs> Too many hills. Mind you, yesterday a fella got my age wrong by 10 years. And mine wrong by 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm claiming he got mine wrong by 18. Makes me feel better. According to him, I was only in my 60s. Yeah, according to him, I was too. And so was you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, over the cottage yesterday flew twice this big, and we didn't get the camera out in time. This big, I'm not really that up on planes, but it looked like a massive army cargo plane. Didn't it, Jazz? It was huge, yeah. But it really banked as it went over banks. <laughs> This reminds me of the ones in like Northwich and stuff. The amount of single lane bridges reminds me of New Zealand. Yeah. But they've all got traffic lights rather than just saying who's got priority. Yeah, this is really New Zealandy round here. <laughs> I don't know, there's, do no, uh, there's no hotel in that silo thing. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah, but do you remember we were going through the country and then there was all stuff like this just randomly in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. It wouldn't be a bacon stores day out without a U-turn somewhere. There's a truck pulling out.
He didn't even wave or nod. No, miserable bastard. <laughs> Other than the uh, apparent lack of garages, they're a nice house. I think they've all got aircon fitted as well. Yeah, I like like the way they've done with in sandstone. Yeah. Okay, so we just stopped for lunch at the 66 Cafe. It's an old little chef and I am going to say it's a pretty solid 5 out of 5. What do you reckon, Jazz? Well, my dad and I had a breakfast with a coffee and Jazz had a um, jacket spud with cheese and beans and salad and a coffee. And then we had some cold drinks, it came to about 30 quid, but the food was of a very, very good standard, and it was nice, and we're full, and it's clean in there, and more than anything, them toilets are spotless. Thank you. And the staff in there were really nice as well really friendly oh look where we are that's usually the road after you know curvy stevens down that way jazz yeah the road that we're supposed to be on now. Yes, we're back on the correct road. It just brought us the other way through the town. Oh, look at that cool car. What is it? A panda? Yeah, a panda. Panda <laughs> 4 by 4 cross. What a horrible little junction. Just out of interest. Yeah. When we go to Scotland. Yeah. Are you guys leaving the panniers off and taking your roll sacks? Yeah. I was probably gonna take my panniers. Cause it's a couple of weeks, isn't it? So. Right. My roll sacks probably got for a week away, but. I think much more than that. Climby, climby, climby! As you say, you can do a hundred mile, but you can do it leisurely and you can go through some lovely countryside, can't you? Alright. And just enjoy the day. What's a red flag mean? It means there's live rounds. Don't go on there, you'll probably get hit by something. County Durham. Hello, County Durham. any of these people who say like the, the Picos and that are like the best roads anywhere and you've got to go there 
they are great roads and I think the benefit of being over there is you get the weather but we've got some roads like this in the UK that are just as good yeah except that they're a bit bumpy <laughs> yeah I know but it still is enjoyable to ride The thing is, if you go past, if you go over the bump at the same time as there's a big boom, yeah, <laughs> then you think, oh Christ, what have I done? I bottomed out. Yeah. But the, uh, the MOD has some of the nicest roads, yeah. Yeah. What's your fuel looking like, Jazz? Mine says 70. Alright, uh, yeah, well that's about right then, isn't it? Mine's 40. You're always a bit a bit more of a range than me, yeah? Yeah. Did you get a traffic thing then? No. It says turn left in one mile. Ah, uh, yeah, I think mine hasn't got that as a turn left, mine's got it as a bare left so Right. By the looks of the map we do do like a tight left hander in about right. a mile but cars coming very fast, be careful. It's when you come up to a brow of a hill and you don't know what's on the other side. Yeah, where's it going? You it's not like when you're riding Wales all the time where you know exactly which way the road goes. Yeah, that one before. It was a severe turn, right on the bloody top. Yeah, it was. Right, we see a fuel station, yeah? Yeah, yeah, if you see a petrol station stop, we'll fill them up. Might as well. I think it wasn't Alston a fairly decent little village town thing? Yeah, there was a there was a petrol station in Alston just past where well, we didn't turn to it, but it was on the right when we turned left the other day. So if we don't see one before, then there's one there. Turn left here, isn't it? No. Mm, not this bit. Not this bit. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's a bit windy. Yeah, not as bad as the other day though. No. 17 up here. I agree. I agree as well. There's loads of them. Old uh, churches have been converted into houses up here, isn't there? Yeah. Are you okay back there? Yep. Yep. This is the ski run, isn't it? Up here somewhere. I think so, yeah. You think you saw.
Have you got another one out? Alright. Alright. How much fuel you got left, Jazzy? 64. How about you? 32. Oh shit. <laughs> A 32 mile left and according to this 27 mile back to the uh, to the house I wouldn't fancy cutting that corner would you? Nope Whoops Sorry <laughs> You mean just like that? Just like that <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't fancy doing this, whoa! <laughs> For anyone who's curious what you'll get out of a 2018 V-Strom full tank 1000cc I probably could have pushed this to about 255 It's not pumping is yours? No. Yeah. I'm just gonna put a tenner in each because this pumps a bit shit. In case there's dregs out the bottom okay. and then we'll fill up down the yeah, way, yeah. yeah. Cool. What do you reckon? Because otherwise Yeah, something wrong with a pump. Right, I've got a hundred and fifteen mile anyway. Okay, Josh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when you get a second, Josh, just tell me how much you've got. But, oh. 120. There's fing <laughs> one here. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna stop? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. I put less than half a tank in, so this will dilute it if that last stuff was a bit shit. Yeah. Never done two Phillips as close to each other as that. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the two Phillips that have done it, but my tank's now saying I. Mine says 352. <laughs> I thought it was on about, he said something about police but Yeah, he was asking He was asking which way we were going He said because the police are out But I couldn't quite make out because I was on the other side of the pump where he said yeah. But he said they're out with a speed gun So if we just stick to less than the speed limit we'll be Yeah I think it, he, he meant uh, the seaside road, but we didn't see anything. Right, be careful because the car park's quite busy, so we need to see which way. I don't know why I was expecting it to be on the other side. <laughs> you were the other day as well. That is a yo-yo. <laughs> that is a brilliant invention.
You okay, Jay? Okay. Um, good, 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 good. How are you? I'm good, good, good. Looks absolutely fine. Okay. Just went a bit squiddly then. Yeah, there's bits on this road. We'll check the pressures when we get back, but it looks absolutely fine. Yeah, we back. It just, it just felt like a bloody had a the tire is deflated then. You can check the pressure when we get back, but it looks fine. No, I'm just in that corner. Should I go past my love? Well, I think all in all, a good day's riding. Some nice roads, a nice coffee, some nice food, and a nice calf. Don't think you can ask for much more than that, can you? Do you remember when you used to be able to go touring without like laptops and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I've not got one with me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to take my laptop out every day around here There's some funny houses again Oh, are they the ones you were talking about? Yeah. yeah The one on the end's almost like a modern take on a coach house Yeah, yeah It's the one with the castle on again isn't it? The dodgy junction at the end <laughs> What do you say? So it's the one with the castle and the dodgy junction at the end Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Well guys, that's us pretty much back in the accommodation, so thank you for watching today. <laughs> if you've got it this, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. And uh, we'll hopefully have another route for you tomorrow. So stay safe and speak soon.